Hi little ducks. Today we're going to read Here Comes the Crocodile by Katherine White. It was hot in the deep green jungle when Crocodile leapt from the river. He sniffed and snarled, growled and snapped. The jungle shook and quivered, his long tail whipped as he scuttled along. I want food to make me strong. Brown Monkey came swinging down to Crocodile's hungry delight. Crocodile snatched poor Monkey's tail and Monkey screeched in fright. Oh, Crocodile, don't you eat me or your sharp teeth will wobble and drop. You'll go skinny and sag like a crocodile bag and your great jaws will dribble and flop. I'm made of sickly chocolate. Monkey chattered with glee. I knew that, said Crocodile, creeping away. You're too small a snack for me. Crocodile felt hungrier than ever when he spied through his big black eyes two flamingos dancing together. Now here's a tasty surprise. Crocodile sneaked through the water with a hungry glint in his eye. Two treats I see, as pink as can be. I'll snatch them before they fly. The flamingos chuckled and fluffed. Why don't even take one lick? We're both made of cotton candy and are bound to make you quite sick. You'd howl and you'd yowl and you'd grimace and you'd swell and you'd tumble and roll. I knew that, said Crocodile, lying. I've only come out for a stroll. Crocodile marched off defeated with a gurgling hole in his tummy. He spotted an elephant drinking. Elephant dinner, yummy. Into the water he slithered as swift as a snake in the grass. And when he got to where elephant was, he leapt up quick as a flash. Oh, crocodile, don't you eat me or your jaws will jangle and lock. It's quite clear to see you can't eat me for tea because I'm solid gray rock. I knew that, said Crocodile, blushing. You're a boulder as big as can be. I'm just out for a walk. No time to talk as I'm meeting a dear friend for tea. Then Crocodile spied a zebra grazing lazily out in the plain. Crocodile's tummy rumbled, gurgled and grumbled, hungry for food again. Crocodile crept through the grass as silent as he could be. I'll sneak up behind him quickly and gobble up zebra for tea. Oh, Crocodile, don't you eat me or you'll turn spotty and pink from dark green. You'll flutter and sneeze and have wobbly knees, said Zebra, polite and serene. But you're only a zebra, said Crocodile. You're only a bright, stripy horse. But my black stripes are very hot pepper, and my white stripes are salt, of course. Oh, boo-hoo, yelled Crocodile, shedding big tears. I feel like I haven't eaten in years. He blubbered and bawled and wallowed and squalled. He rolled on his back, which looked very funny, then wailed and hollered, I want my mommy. Don't worry, said kindly young zebra. You can share all my grass with me. The two pink flamingos brought treats to share with monkey's bananas for tea. And I've brought some clear, cool water, said Elephant, sprouting a spray. And Crocodile grinned with his big sharp teeth and said, what a wonderful day. It was hot in the deep green jungle as the animals played by a tree when Tiger leapt out from behind them, growling, I'm ready for tea. Thanks for joining me today. Let's read again soon.